Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm blonde. No, it's not real. Um, today I'm gonna do like a autumn kind of vibe. Um, I was kind of not done with the Halloween theme, but I'm kind of like, I need a break from it. I need some more ideas. Um, so I thought I'd just do like a casual chit chat get ready in, yeah, in autumn spirit. So, <laughs> If you want to see me get this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, I'm not bold, but it is a wig cap. So stay with me till the end. Um, I'm going to start with my face. I haven't moisturised yet, so I'm just going to use this vitamin E, um, what is it even called? Essence Lotion um, by The Body Shop. Normally, I put this on and then like do my hair, like let it soak in and then put my like face makeup on, but I forgot. So we're doing that. I literally look like an alien right now with this wig cap on. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put this like everywhere. Pretty much. And I need to let it soak in before I can put anything else on. But I am gonna use the Give Face um, Primer today. What is it called? It's called the Minty Primer and Moisturizer. So it's a two in one. I thought I would use this and the essence lotion can be used before moisturizers as well um, a lot of the time I just use it on its own but yeah so we're gonna use a double whammy um, but it's a primer as well so let that dry just have a little squirt of this Ooh. that was weird. oh it's got oh I didn't realize I had like two things and I was like why is there two Okay, I haven't used this in a little while. But I remember it being minty fresh. Yeah, oh my god, that's so cool. I might have a bit much. We're gonna roll with it. <laughs> it's quite like thick. Just like really moisturizing. In nice. have like hair, random baby hairs coming out. Excuse me. Not today. Okay, it's like super sticky now, which I like before foundation. Um, anyway, so now I just rub the, rub the hands on like wherever they're wearing. <laughs> Sorry leggings. Um, okay, so for foundation, I have been using the Kat Von D Locket. I've got so many hairs stuck to me recently. Um, I've been using this like for work and stuff, like literally like non-stop. And I should have wet my sponge, never mind. And there's like a big blob of dried, driedness on the end. Lovely. Tend to only use like two pumps, because it's quite thick. And you don't need a huge amount. Uh, it does get in my nail though, all the time. Blech. Blech. Disgusting. Okay, I'm just gonna use my Give Face like angled brush. It's seen better days, I'm not gonna lie. And I recently cleaned this as well, so this is how much I use it. <laughs> um, I kind of just smear it around my face. There's that blob. Gross. Yeah, I kind of just like smear it around, pat it around, and then kind of go over it with the sponge, although my sponge is dry. We're gonna have to roll with the, a, a dry sponge and then bring it onto the neck because I'm looking a bit pasty today. I'm not gonna lie, looking a bit pasty. So I just quickly wet my sponge. I'm just gonna go over the foundation just to get rid of any lines. Okay, and then for concealer. I'm actually running out, but this is like, at the minute, my favorite concealer. This is the Lasting Perfection Concealer from Collection in the shade Fair, is it? Yeah, Fair. Um, so I just kind of make sure I get it in my inner corner, because that's where I get like, the most darkness nowadays. <laughs> Drag it down my nose, and then create that typical V shape. I 
and then in the usual spots on my chin cupid's bow down my nose a little bit on my head and because it's a tiny little bit dark i'm just gonna bring it under the contour area even though we haven't done that yet but it does help when we get to that stage so bring that in like that and then go in with the sponge i always find casita's best blended out with the sponge just looks a bit more natural and you kind of keep the coverage i find a brush just like smears we don't want no smearing and this concealer does dry quite quickly so the dampness does help anyway is that a word actually dampness i don't know dampness moistness i know a lot of people hate the word moist i actually really like it i like saying it and that's really weird but moist <laughs> my other favorite word is plunge plunge how fun is that to say plunge <laughs> anyway <laughs> um and recently i've been using the effect powder for like all over my face um so i'm gonna do that quickly and just like shake some into the lid what a tune right so you don't need a huge amount with this i just kind of get this massive face brush from give face dunk it in whatever it, whatever whatever is in the lid and just kind of stamp that over the face just to set that a little bit i always put a little bit extra on my nose because she gets oily and then a little bit down my neck i find it helps transferring if you like meet anyone and like cuddle them and what not okay so for the under eyes i'm just going to use my trusty old wet and wild bronzer um in the shade reserve your cabana and then i just use this kind of tapered brush and you can see i am running low and i just kind of stamp that under the eyes to start with and then bring it to the sides of the nose and like out of it and onto the lid like can you see the difference like how much brighter that one looks it's nice okay so for bronzer I've been oh hello I've been using the Borgio Maxi Delight Bronzer. I used to use this like ages ago. Like, look how big it is. You'd never run out. Is there a shade? I have no idea. 365? No clue. Let's just, let's just go in. And I've been using, I used to use like the, this brush. I still use it now and again. But I find like this one, because it's a little bit chunkier, just a bit quicker. Um, so I just bronze the cheeks and kind of contour. I didn't really use a separate bronzer and contour. I don't really find this necessary, especially when you use concealer underneath. It kind of does it for you. That's just my point of view anyway. See like how cut that looks. Nice. Merch. I don't know what that was. And then like onto the forehead. Not too much. And then a little bit on the nose. So I kind of put it in the middle of the brush, squeeze the brush and kind of go down the nose and then blend it out. I don't really contour, I just kind of bronze it up. And then a little bit on the jawline and a little bit down the middle of the like the neck just 
behind my double chin. <laughs> okay, and then because I'm a little bit pale, I'm just going to put a little bit on my chest. A little bit pale. I need to do my fake tan. Pronto. But this will do for now. <laughs> okay, that is better. So, since doing the broken doll, this feels really weird by the way. Since doing the broken doll look, I haven't stopped using, I'm literally afraid of everything. I haven't stopped using this blush. This is Dolly by Give Face. Really? Hairs everywhere. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my cheeks, just as a little bit of color. I think that makes it look a bit more of something. I don't know what the word is, but it's something. Okay, and finish off the skin. I'm just gonna do highlight. This is Charity from Give Face. I've probably mentioned this like a million times, probably bored of it by now. Um, it is my favorite highlight of all time. And I think I converted one of my friends to get this as well the other day. She was like, what is that you're wearing? <laughs> Charity. <laughs> Um, I'm actually going to use a bigger face brush today. I experimented it, experimented with it yesterday, um, and it worked really well. I think it made it a little bit more natural because it blended it out a bit more, if that makes sense. But I'm not really going for the natural look today. So I'm just going to have to pile it on, but it does blend it out quite nicely actually. And it's a bit quicker. See how that looks so nice? Yes. Okay, now we're talking. <laughs> Tiny bit extra on this side. And then down the nose. Cupid's bow. A little bit on the chin, and I like to put a little bit between the brows. And that sounds a bit weird, but no, I kind of like it. <laughs> mm. Anyway, <laughs> kind of went a bit crazy there. So that is the face. I'm just gonna set it with the Gerald Cosmetics Slay All Day. I think this is green tea, yeah, green tea and ginger. I'm just gonna set that. I like to do that before face makeup just because it kind of ruins mascara a wee bit. Unless you leave it like ages, which I can't bother to do. So I'm just gonna quickly go off camera and do my brows. I'm just gonna use the Makeup Revolution pomade um, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so for eyes, I'm literally just gonna use my bronzer. I'm gonna keep it so simple on the eyes today just because I wanna do a really bold lip. Um, so, I'm just going to use a dirty brush because there's no point in using a clean one just for the same colour. So I'm going to use my Zoeva 228, I think it is, and just dunk into my bronzer. It has got a tiny bit of shimmer, but it's not that noticeable when you blend it out. So I'm just going to literally put this in the crease. And there be it. Plus, it mean, it's massive. Might as well use it for two, two things rather than one. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd never get through it. Massive. Might as well be like a body bronzer. What if it is a body bronzer? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> I had to think then. Maybe it is. And it's probably quite dark in here again because it is peeing down with rain. Shock. But. I find it quite cozy, although I do have to like go out soon. <laughs> well, not soon actually, well there's the time. Okay, no, it's not soon, <laughs> like two hours time. So, I do find it cozy if you're still inside, if you know what I mean. So yeah, that's kind of all I'm gonna do for like shadow. Um, I need to adjust my cap right now, because he thinks he's allowed to move, he is not. Um, so I'm just gonna put some liner on. I've got like foundation everywhere. How does it get everywhere? I 
literally don't look like I wash because of it. <laughs> I do. Please, I do. <laughs> that would be awkward as hell. So I'm just going to use the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I always find it really hard to say that. Um, and I'm just going to draw a line just so I can put some lashes on. And I've got some exciting lashes. Okay, that will do. Right, so lashes, I think I'll need to cut them. Where did they go? Oh, there you are. Um, this is like quite a small brand. So I found them on Instagram and I literally just fell in love with these lashes. So I've got like five or six pairs of the lashes. This is mini. How stunning are these? They look super fluffy, super wispy. So yeah i need to put these on so what i'm gonna do is cut them to size glue them on pop some mascara on and i'll be right back okay so i've got my lashes on i think they look quite nice quite fluttering um so the last thing is lips and i'm gonna go for a dark one so this is unicorn blood by jeffrey star and i thought this was like such a perfect color for autumn yes was i right oh Hi. <laughs> Classy bird. So yeah, this I thought was autumn in in a lipstick. I love this colour. Wow. So I'm gonna put on the finished touches and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, this is the finished look. Um, I'm loving this. This is a vibe. This is a vibe. <laughs> this is so sick. And I am loving the wig. I'm, I've got like a similar one, but with a wave in it, coming for my birthday, which is like a pink color, so yes to that the one that i use in my barbie doll one is not this one by the way this is a more expensive one um the other one was cheap and tacky and only good for the video and uh, i'm actually gonna go out like this today i'm super nervous <laughs> well i mean i'm going out as in i'm going to my friends and i know she'll like be fine with it she won't be horrible or anything but it's just funny and i'm not gonna tell her either and i wonder if she'll like know straight away if it, that is a wig or not like, I think it looks good. Like, the hairline is sick. Like, I've glued it down. It's, I've done, I've done the, I've done the shiz. This is, this is me for the day. I'm, I'm Barb's. Yeah, I'm Barbie. Barbara? I prefer Barbara. <laughs> Barbara. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, this is the finished look. Happy autumn. Um, and, yeah, I'm loving this. Oh God, this is sick. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm gonna trip out some neighbors now. So if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.